What if I told you that in addition to Expedition G-Force, Tehran, Karnan, etc., Germany had one of the coolest roller coasters and one of the most intense roller coasters out there. A 340 foot tall giga coaster made by Intamin designed to be very similar to Intimidator 305. It sounds pretty cool and if it weren't for pesky building permits and limited funds, this would have become a reality. In 2002, some plans leaked out regarding Heidi Park in Germany and a possible future addition, notably being a giga coaster manufactured by the one and only Intamin Worldwide. In the photo shown here, it closely resembles Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion, and some sources say that the turns that would be featured on this giga would provide the same forces and were designed the same way as the Intimidator 305 right turn right after the drop. In simple words, this would quite simply be one of the most intense and thrilling co coasters, as well as one of the biggest wheel-eating coasters. The original proposed location of the coaster was right next to Colossus. Now, don't forget, this was in the early 2000s when, when Colossus was at its glory years, not later on when it had become su substantially rougher, and not the present-day Colossus that's trimmed to death, meaning the park would have a wonderful two-coaster punch if this proposed giga had been created. Here are some stats for the original coaster, 340 feet, 96 miles per hour, 7,381 feet of track, and a drop at around 82 degrees. Later on in winter of 2007, the plans had re-emerged after a five-year hiatus. The project fell through because of financial reasons and because the park failed to acquire the needed building permits. Instead, in 2007, they opted for an intimate accelerator, Desert Race. Unlike many of the plans that surface and disappear, these actually came back. In 2007, we found out that in 2005, the park had acquired the building permits and had slightly changed the stats. Nothing huge was changed, the height was altered by a few feet, and the location was way further away from the inner park, not over by Colossus, but over by the bobsleds at the very edge of the park. Here's what's really strange. In 2007, the land clearing began and Heidi Park received investment from a Dubai investor, clearing out both previous problems. They got the building permits and got the money. For reasons unknown and for the fact that building an Intamin Giga as well as Desert Race in one year seemed overexpanding, the park decided to abandon the idea. This wasn't quite the end of the documents though. Considering how detailed the stats, layouts, and how far the park got with the project, it's possible that these plans were used as a firm ground to design Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion. I suppose a part of these plans live on in Doswell, Virginia. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video about the Giga that will never happen. If you enjoyed, please be sure to share, like, and maybe even subscribe. I will catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.